balmy days and barbecues. It felt like a final in September and that's the way the crowd was treating it. I'll pull power because they're just simply the best and they rule the world. Oh, the crows for sure. Port not up to it? No, they're crap. <laughs> the traditional pre-match build-up is important as the contest itself. You need food in your stomach. Beautiful. Some were fired up. No one's relaxing today. Go the crows! Come on, Port Adelaide aggression! Yes! Others a touch underwhelmed and hoping football would be the winner. I'm a power. My wife's a crow. We're supposed to be going away on a holiday. Ideally, we should have left yesterday. But she wants revenge for last time. <laughs> Perhaps it was because it was Power's home game, but they were the only ones singing. The Crows a little on the shy side. For the taking. For Hold Owling, Seven Nightly News. About a five-goal breeze, you'd reckon. Adelaide looking for top spot on the ladder under new coach Malcolm Blythe. Port needing to win to be virtually assured of a history-making final in its first year. The stakes were huge and the start was blistering. Port kicking five unanswered first quarter goals. The breeze. Also you can see the breeze, an indication on his jumper was fluttering there in the breeze. They kicked it pretty long in the schoolboys game earlier here today. He's about 70 oh, yards out. Kick. Look at that! Downsborough with Pittman. Brown rows it beautifully on the left of the step of goal. He's put it through. Great footy. Into the park there of Bond. Nearly run down there by his brother in Shane Bond. Paxman gets it across to Dickey. Dickey now finds Huskis. They're still in their defensive 50. They should make something out of this. Huskis this time. Good pass, Brewer. Lyle, well tackled. Is he allowed to go on? He is. Good follow-up by Brewer. Shot for goal by David Brown's passing through for goal. Darden, no, there's a free kick right on the goal line. And that's a goal. Go. No, it might be all clear, is it? No, it's a free kick, I think. No, it's a goal. Kick standing up predictably into the breeze. High flyers needed out there. Wanganeen rows it beautifully. Looks for the long hand pass. Lyle, vice captain. Donald Dickey, Mr. Excitement, Dickey short the half forward, beautiful pass on the lead, Cummins and Marks. He's kicked, and he has kicked through. Rusciuto, well done there by James, but interception by Daniels, well played, Downs by Daniels, didn't have the ball, did he? That's the way the umpire has seen that, and Daniels, gee, he's a bit hard at it too. Come on, bring it out this way, he's too slow. Yes, well, he probably uh, is aware of the urgency required. Lovely kick, it's a goal! In tough conditions, the defences would work overtime. Still, Port kicked two against the wind in the second term. Vital goals that gave the power a 16-point lead at half-time. They've got a chance here, Cummings. This may bounce through for a goal against the breeze. Very valuable stuff. Pittman, Dickey, Franco, over the head of Huskers, but it's okay. Eagleton, finally around McLeod. Oh, beautifully done. Wangadine. Well, Lamentless kicks out in front of goal. Oh, great miss of the body. He's got it again. Scott Cummings in line for his third. Gee, that would be a real boost. Two quick goals by him against the Breeze. That's if he kicks this. He should. And he's kicked it. By three-quarter time, Port knew what they had to defend. 23 points would be the margin as Adelaide came home with the win. The battle was on. Ten scoring shots to none told the sorry tale. It was the result that meant so much, the one that literally got away. The Crows by seven points. Cummings three, Squire and Brown two each, with Daniels, Mead and Wanganeen the best.